Hi, my name is Anthony Weaver, illustrator for Invention Publishing, and we are here with author Richard L. Weaver II discussing our, uh, the first book, and then some book one, Essays to Entertain, Motivate, and Inspire. This is, and then some publishing's first book we put out, and uh, what is this book all about? This book is a, a collection of essays, and uh, some of them, uh, there are about 50 essays in the book, uh, 14 of them were actually previously published in the Toledo Blade. Um, when I first started writing essays, I was writing 1,000 word essays for the Toledo Blade and I had, altogether, I had 16 of them published. Um, 14 are, are listed in the, uh, in the beginning part of this book and they, they are, they are th distributed kind of throughout the entire book. But you see, I was writing essays for Tom Walton while Tom Walton was the editor of the Blade and then Tom stopped uh, actually, he retired, and another fellow took over as the editor, and he stopped the Saturday essays, just stopped the Saturday essay column, uh, and the Saturday essay column was uh, really uh, written by local people in the community, and I was one of those people, and so we needed an outlet, or I needed an outlet for my writing, and this book became uh, the outlet because I started, we, well, we established the blog, and you helped certainly establish the blog, and, and then some um, publishing, uh, LLC, was established. And what we did was put those essays, those weekly essays of mine, onto the blog. And it wasn't long then before we accumulated a large number of essays, and we thought, okay, why don't we put together a collection of the best of the essays that you have already produced. And you and I got together and decided on which essays we thought would be the, uh, the best ones. And uh, this represents that effort. This being our first book, uh, I remember it really well. It took us a couple of years to put it out. It was, it was kind of a struggle. We had trouble with technology. We had trouble with printing. Um, this was definitely a learning lesson. And I even remember at the time, we weren't even sure with how long it took if we could put another book out, um, which ends up making this book and then, and then some very unique because it covers such a broad range of topics. It was as if we were trying to take the whole kitchen sink and put it in one. So the book sort of reads sometimes like short stories in your travel section. There's a little bit of self-help. There's a little bit of, so you want to write a book. What other topics did you cover in this book that continue or help it, help it be so unique? Well, uh, it, it really covered a, a, a wide range because uh, the essays that I was writing for the blog covered such a wide range. Um, in my own publishing history, in my, the books that I've written, I've written about relationships, I've written about communication, uh, I've written about writing, and, and this one starts in talking about the essential components, the essential elements of good relationships. And then it has essays on our family and what our family has done. It has self-help essays, of, I, I think the section of the book that I like the most, uh, also section a section on advice. Um, uh, well, kind of like uh, an Ann Landers uh, series of uh, several, six essays or so on, on uh, advice. And then you mentioned the one on writing, so you want to write a book. Then I have a whole section of uh, travel uh, essays. Uh, my wife and I took a, uh, a, the Lewis and Clark trip, uh, followed the Lewis and Clark trail for over 3,000, I think over 5,000 miles altogether. Um, and we have uh, essays that covered our, our trip there. We have a couple essays on humor. Uh, a few on speech communication, a few on society, and a few on leadership, and also a few on education. So it really represents all of the various facets of my life and the areas that I was interested in and, and writing about at the time. And from our fans, the response we have gotten is um, some of the fans' favorite stories are the ones that are more like short stories are the travel essays. People really have enjoyed reading those, especially because it was Lewis and Clark. Um, what do you think the readers are going to be able to take away from this book? Well, I, I think a variety of things. 
Uh, there is a section on self-help and that's very motivational. When I started rereading the essays and those on advice, they're really very motivational. They, they get you excited. But I think you're going to find this book uh, really uh, reinforces, it emphasizes our basic philosophy and then some. It's, um, it's inspiring, it's motivational, it's uplifting, it makes you feel good, and the essays are written in such a way that they really capture your imag imagination, they capture your feelings, they really uh, inspire you. And as, as I said, we entertain, motivate, and inspire. That is the nature of the essays uh, within. The, um, and then some philosophy, it's, that's a little bit different. You hear somebody in sports, oh, he made a great pass, and then some. Why did you pick, and then some, even to the point of, and then some publishing, how did you get started on that track? Actually, it started as a result of a lecture that I gave uh, that talked about going the extra mile, doing something in addition to uh, what you normally do. Uh, and to me, uh, the, the whole and then some philosophy that pushes you to go the extra mile um, was something that, that really became uh, the, the keynote, the benchmark for and then some publishing. Is there, is, the, is there an essay in the book that explains the and then, and then some philosophy? Yes, there is. Uh, essay number 18, it's called, and then some, is a value-added approach to the good life. And it talks about what and then some can mean when you adopt it and actually ap apply it practically in your life. What since we have, we have 50 essays in the book, what is your overall favorite essay in this book? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, it's, hard, it's, it's hard when you've written as many essays as I have, and you've got 50 here. And when I was reading through them, they really are a, a lot of fun. Uh, the one I like, probably like the best, is the one on humor. And it was actually published in the uh, Toledo Blade. Uh, the... the, um, the, the the actual one, let's see, uh, see if I can find it here. Uh, no joke, he who laughs, lasts. And it was written uh, for the Toledo Blade originally, but I I've, I've put it into this book because um, I, got a, I got a lot of responses from it. Uh, colleagues, uh, friends who had read it in the Toledo Blade said, that is a wonderful essay. As a matter of fact, a colleague of mine uh, at uh, Bowling Green said he put it on his uh, bulletin board just above his desk so he could read it over and over because it was so inspiring and so much fun. The And then some book one, beyond beyond the essays here, this is, this is what helped start your blog and now you've been writing your blog for I think it's been three years now? Three years. Three years. So uh, it continues with the and then some philosophy, the and then some life, and then some the spirit of it, you can go to and then some works.blogspot.com to go see all his uh, essays. And also you can see his book, The And Then Some Philosophy. And don't forget at and then some works.com you can see another, the and then some speech that helps explain the and then some philosophy even more. And that is the inspirational speech. So go to andthensomeworks.com where you can pick up this book, and then some essays to entertain, motivate, inspire, and inspire. Thank you, Richard Weaver. Get your book.